Well, the thinking now is based on that uh, analysis of radar by Malaysian authorities that uh, flight MH370 was in fact flying a lot faster than previously thought, burning off fuel far quicker. So the thinking is now that uh, the aircraft uh, was flying uh, not as far south into the Indian Ocean as was for first thought. Australian authorities say that this is new credible information. So the search area has been shifted fairly significantly, more than a thousand kilometers to the north East. So uh, this is uh, a new development given that it's almost three weeks since the Malaysia airline plane disappeared with uh, almost 240 people on board. And Phil, I guess if I understand it right, the good news about this is that the new search zone is closer to Western Australia. So search aircraft will get more time over the search zone. Well, previously, aircraft flying out of the Pierce Air Base near Perth were having to fly two and a half thousand kilometres. The new search zone is uh, about 1,850 kilometres west of Perth, so uh, significantly shorter for 10 aircraft that are due to be in the skies today. Out to sea, we have uh, half a dozen ships, including Chinese vessels and an Australian Navy ship. We understand, too, that uh, the Americans are sending in another sophisticated air surveillance plane. So certainly the international element in all of this is building. And you're absolutely right, Mike. This uh, search area is closer, relatively speaking, to the West Australian coast. That should mean that there'd be more flying hours over the search area before the weather, as it inevitably will, uh, turn against the search efforts in the next few days.